Question number 41. Service level agreements typically include all the following, except, option A, product expectations. Option B, general conditions to meet the SLA for a product. Option C, specific terms, including uptime conditions. Option D, product pricing. The correct answer is, option D, product pricing. All features are inclusive of an SLA except for explicit product pricing. Question number 42. Is the following statement true or false with regards to a hybrid cloud offering? A company can extend its internal network capacity using the public cloud when using cloud bursting. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is, option A. True. When a private cloud, internal network, needs additional capacity during a peak period of IT demand, it will require the use of public cloud resources. Therefore, the use of a special configuration known as cloud bursting is a great option for scaling a private cloud when necessitated. Question number 43. Which of the following are reasons to have multiple subscriptions? Select 2. Option A. Different organizational structure. Option B. Manage resource allocation. Option C. Better manage security. Option D. Better discounting options. The correct answers are, Option A different organizational structure, and option B, manage resource allocation. Users prefer multiple subscriptions when many organizations exist, cause a variety of resources to be billed to an account. Instead of billing resources to a master account, differentiating the organization structure and better managing the resources against an individual bill will help each team, project, or cost center fully realize their spending. Since cloud computing spend is based on consumption, Multiple subscriptions will help to mitigate billing concerns in an organization. Question number 44. Which of the following is not a configuration you must identify when setting up an app service plan? Option A. Region. Option B. Number of virtual machines. Option C. Size of instance. Option D. SDK support. The correct answer is, Option D. SDK support. Except for SDK support, which is not a legitimate feature, all other choices are prerequisites for configuring an app service plan. Question number 45. Your organization is experiencing an outage on all its virtual machine instances. Where should you check first to determine the cause of this issue? Option A. Azure Status Page. Option B. Azure Resource Health Page. Option C. Azure Service Health Page. Option D. Azure Advisor. The correct answer is, Option A, Azure Status Page. The best practice is to check on global system performance first before focusing on individual resources and services. Question number 46. Fill in the following statement with the correct response. Dash enables you to protect your Azure resources from denial of service. DOS, attacks with always-on monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation. Option A, Azure Firewall. Option B, Azure Security Center. Option C, Azure DDoS Standard. Option D, Azure Defender. The correct answer is, Option C, Azure DDoS Standard. DDoS Standard is the only service offering that offers 365-24-7 monitoring for attacks with always-on monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation. Question number 47. Complete the following statement. Dash is when you want to ensure users should and should not access resources in Azure. Option A. Authentication. Option B. Conditional access. Option C. Role-based access. Option D. Authorization. The correct answer is, Option D. Authorization. Authorization is when you want to ensure users should and should not access resources in Azure. Question number 48. Select all the options that are applicable from the drop-down menu. Option A. Public preview. Option B. General Availability. Option C, Private Preview. Option D, Development Stage. The correct answers are, Option A, Public Preview, and Option B, General Availability. Both options allow all users to access services via Azure Portal. Only General Availability provides guaranteed service level commitments. Question number 49. Select the appropriate architecture to match the applications from the following drop-down menus. Option A, Infrastructure as a Service, Platform as a Service. Option B, Infrastructure as a Service, Software as a Service. Option C, 
Platform as a service, software as a service. Option D, software as a service, platform as a service. The correct answer is, option C, platform as a service, software as a service. In the illustration, Azure Synapse Analytics maps to platform as a service in the first drop-down menu. Microsoft Teams maps to software as a service in the second drop-down menu. All other option combinations are inaccurate. Question number 50. What is an alternate utility integrated within the Azure portal a user can access to complete cloud-based support actions? Option A. Windows PowerShell. Option B. Azure Cloud Shell. Option C. Azure Sentinel. Option D. Azure Express. Route. The correct answer is, Option B. Azure Cloud Shell. Azure Cloud Shell is an integrated utility in the Azure portal. Question number 51. Which of the following are open source relational database platforms that Microsoft Azure supports as managed service offerings? Select 2. Option A. Azure Database for PostgreSQL. Option B. Azure Cosmos DB. Option C. Azure SQL DB. Option D. Azure Database for MySQL. The correct answers are, Option A, Azure Database for PostgreSQL, and Option D, Azure Database for MySQL. Azure Database for PostgreSQL and Azure Database for MySQL are both open-source relational databases that Microsoft has enabled as a platform as a service offering in Azure. Question number 52. Select the correct pairing of definitions based on the options presented. Place the items found in the right column in the correct order. Option A. Azure IoT Sphere, Azure IoT Hub, Azure IoT Central. Option B, Azure IoT Hub, Azure IoT Hub, Azure IoT Central. Option C, Azure Sphere, Azure IoT Central, Azure IoT Hub. Option D, Azure IoT Central, Azure IoT Hub, Azure IoT Central. The correct answer is, Option C, Azure Sphere, Azure IoT Central, Azure IoT Hub. Azure Sphere Secures IoT Devices Question number 53. Which of the following is not true about Secure Score? Option A. Secure Score is based on weighting, usage, importance, geographic location, and criticality. B. Secure Score evaluates all the resources across your subscriptions. Option C. There is a maximum score of 100%. Option D. A score is not an average as it weights the posture of resources across subscriptions. The correct answer is, option A, secure score is based on weighting, usage, importance, geographic location, and criticality. The reason why this statement is inaccurate is because of one element, geographic location. Geography has no influence on secure score. Question number 54, what is the purpose of single sign-on? Option A, to prevent users from removing resources. Option B, to allow users to access resources across many applications without having to re-enter credentials several times. Option C, to define rules that apply to Azure resources that can be replicated in a template. Option D, to act as an identity service in Azure. The correct answer is, option B, to allow users to access resources across many applications without having to re-enter credentials several times. Single sign-on is best defined as allowing users to access resources across many applications without re-entering credentials several times. Question number 55. Select true or false for each of the following statements. Option A. True, true, true. Option B. True, false, true. Option C. True, false, false. Option D. False, true, false. The correct answer is, option B. True, false, true. The key to the last two questions is the words from and to. True. From Azure to data center means egress, outgoing, traffic. False. To Azure from data center means ingress, inbound. True. Outbound traffic results in an added charge, whereas ingress does not. Cost does vary from region to region. Question number 56. Your organization has recently instituted a 100% telework policy in order to reduce expenses. As part of the planning, the IT operations team is looking for ways to utilize as many enterprise vendors' pre-built software solutions so that there is no need to install custom applications and maintain a dedicated help desk. Which cloud architecture should you include in your suggestion to leadership? Option A. Software as a Service, SaaS. 
Option B, Platform as a Service, PAS. Option C, Infrastructure as a Service, IAS. Option D, Desktop as a Service, DOS. The correct answer is, Option A, Software as a Service, SAS. The organization is looking to reduce as many internal functions as possible, and they are aiming to use enterprise vendor commercial off-the-shelf, COTS, solutions. SaaS aligns best with that model. An organization may have some custom applications. However, in this use case, the goal is to shift away from custom and move toward pre-built offerings. The organization may need to procure some IaaS services. However, for this use case, this is not the main objective. Desktop as a service is not a deployment model. Question number 57. What contains web apps, databases, and storage accounts that are deployable and managed in Azure? Option A. Resource groups. Option B. Resource pairs. Option C. Availability zones. Option D. Management groups. The correct answer is, Option A. Resource groups. Resource groups bring together resources in a single group. A resource group acts as a container for like-kind Azure resources such as web apps, databases, and storage accounts that are deployable and managed. Question number 58. Your organization requires a managed solution that can support its massive online transactional processing database solution. To ensure optimal performance, your team requires a solution that supports applications with high volume activities and low input slash output rates. Autoscaling and fluid storage capacity are desired. Which service tier should you select? Option A, General. Option B, Business Critical. Option C, Hyperscale. Option D, Free. The correct answer is, Option B, Business Critical. Although you might expect the answer to be Hyperscale, C, based on the massive OLTP requirement, Hyperscale support does not align with managed instance support at this time. Business critical slash premium support does offer OLTP benefits for massive data processing. Question number 59. Under what circumstances would you configure your Synapse Analytics environment to be always available? Option A. Synapse Analytics must always be available regardless of circumstances. Option B. During unpredictable, burst-based workloads. Option C. To ensure reserved processing power and optimized savings. Option D during predictable batch jobs? The correct answer is, option B, during unpredictable, burst-based workloads. Unpredictable, burst-based workloads is the only condition that meets all the criteria described in the question. Question number 60, match the correct definition from the left column to the right column. Option A, Azure Sentinel, Azure Dedicated Host, Network Security Groups. Option B, Azure Sentinel, Network Security Groups, Azure Dedicated Host. Option C, Azure Dedicated Host, Azure Sentinel, Network Security Group. Option D, Network Security Group, Azure Sentinel, Azure Dedicated Host. The correct answer is, Option B, Azure Sentinel, Network Security Groups, Azure Dedicated Host. Azure Sentinel is defined as a combined SOAR and SIEM security incident solution. Network Security Groups are defined as a way to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources. Azure dedicated hosts are dedicated virtual machine environment that resides on a shared host computer that can support many people.